In John's Gospel, chapter 9 and verse 4, we find those words. I must work the works of him who set me while it is still day, for the night comes when no man can work. As you listen to this passage, you would have heard those words, I must. And Jesus says, I must work the works of him that sent me. This is recognizing a sense of urgency. The story is a rather interesting one where we find this passage. It is in John's Gospel, chapter 9, the story about a man who was born blind. In this particular case, the disciples came to their master and they said, tell us, why was this person born blind? Is it because he sinned or was it because the sins of his parents? Jesus said, really? It was not because of his sins, because really he would not have had a chance to sin if he was born blind. And certainly not because of his parents, but that the works of God might be manifested. God has allowed this experience. And so when we look at it, we find a number of characters, not only the disciples, but we will find the neighbors of this man who was born blind. We would come to the Pharisees. We would also come to his parents. And in each instance, it would seem to me that they misunderstood what was going on. The disciples were focusing on sin because it was the thinking of the day. If you were blind or some defect existed, it was because of sin. But Jesus said, that is not the emphasis here. That is not the basis of what I'm talking about. And when the, when the neighbors of this man were debating among themselves, is this really our neighbor? There was a debate among them. And then there was a debate among the, uh, the Pharisees. And then also they contacted the parents and the parents recognized that it was their son who was healed. And now he could see. But to avoid any dispute with the Pharisees, they simply said, go and ask him. He is of age. But to Jesus, it was not about these. It was recognizing that soon time would run out. He would not have the time to do what he wanted to do. And while it was still daylight, Jesus seized the opportunity. He embraced the moment to talk about his father, to manifest the love of his father. And so I say to you today, God has given us a 24-hour period, each one of us. How are you using the time that God has given you, has given to you? Are you using your time wisely to encourage someone, to advance the kingdom of God, to share a sense of hope? I urge you today, recognize what time it is. And it is my prayer, like Jesus, we will declare, I must work the works of Him that sent me while it is still day because the night is coming when no man, when no person can work. Let's get busy for the Lord.